Hello everybody, this is Dr. Swanson. Welcome to COM 362 Public Relations Writing 1 for the summer semester. I'm glad to have you with us. The purpose of this video is to explain a little bit about what to expect from the course as you move into it because this is a, a very fast-moving five-week online course and I want to make sure that from the beginning everybody knows exactly where, where we're going. So this is an online course. It lasts five weeks. The content is very challenging. Solo and teamwork are essential. In other words, you'll be doing work on your own. You'll also be doing work collaboratively with a team and you won't meet with that team necessarily in person. You can if you want to, but you will be doing work online with that team as we do in the public relations world. Um, the content over five weeks is equal to the content of this course when it's offered in a 16 week uh, full uh, semester. So there's a lot of content here jammed into five weeks. And we have to do it that way because we can't offer less content than we would normally offer just because it's five weeks. We have to, we have to give you the full experience. And so I want you to be ready for that. I want you to be on alert and I want you to be aware. I don't want you to be scared. I don't want you to be frightened. I don't want you to be hair on fire freaking out. Um, you're going to learn a lot in this course you will feel at the end of this course immensely more prepared to work in public relations than you do right now. And you'll feel like you've had your first real taste of what public relations is all about. So in that sense, this course is going to be immensely valuable for you. But you just have to be aware and alert. And um, I recommend, I strongly recommend that you dedicate at least 10 hours a week at least four days a week for everything you have to do for this course. For the chapter readings, the titanium content, the weekly quizzes, the solo assignments, and the team-based assignments. You can't do all of this on a Saturday afternoon. You can't. So if you don't have at least four days a week to work on this, you're not going to make it. And if you don't have at least 10 hours over the span of each week for the next five weeks to work on this, you're not going to make it. So I'm going to be upfront with you now to know exactly what to expect because I teach this course every summer and every time I teach this course in the summer two or three people drop out along the way because they didn't think I meant it when I talked about how serious this course is and it really is. So go into this with your eyes wide open and know whether or not you've got the time and the energy to commit to this. Team communication is essential. The people on your team need to know what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. Um, and you need to know who they are and what they're going to do and when they're going to do it. You can't hang the team out to dry because there will be weekly team evaluations. So if there's a team assignment coming up, as there is in the first week of this class, um, you got to be there and you got to be participating and you got to be communicating because the evaluations will have an impact on your score. All of this may sound strict, but this is what the real world workplace of PR is all about. This is how the industry works, my friends. The industry works collaboratively. It works online. It works in teams. It um, works with people juggling a variety of assignments all the time, different kinds of projects, solo projects, team projects. Don't take my word for it. Talk to anybody who works in public relations and ask them what the realities are, and they'll tell you. Um, we saw the the PR gal in Sex in the City, what's her name? I don't remember what her name is. I didn't watch the show very much. Um, but, you know, all she did was drink champagne and go to parties. And she was a PR person. Ah, that's television, okay? That's not reality. This course, what this course is all about, this is reality. And this is going to prepare you for the workplace of public relations. So, if you're ready, buckle your seatbelt. Let's go. Here's what I want you to do. Download, print, and read the syllabus, and the calendar. Don't just skim it. Download it, print it, read it. Read it very carefully. Uh, look at the assignment due dates and plug them into your calendar. Oh, you don't have a calendar? Get one. You have a calendar app on your phone? Use it. You're going to need it this summer. You're going to need it. If you don't have a calendar yet, you're going to need one now. Then, scroll down to the Titanium page, look closely at the content, you will see the course in Titanium is broken into the subject areas. So basically, there's 
five subject areas because there's five weeks of the course. And so each of those five topic areas in titanium has the content in there other than the chapter readings. Um, so there is stuff in there I need you to look at. And in each one of those areas, you will also find the assignments for that week and the quiz for that week. So, you know, scroll down through Titanium and read that very closely. You don't have to click on all the links at this point, but just scroll down that area and, you know, through Titanium and read it and make sure that you see how this is all structured. I've tried to structure this course in as simple a way as possible. Moodle is not the best system, but it's what we have. Um, so I've tried to structure it in a way where it makes sense to you. If you don't have the book, get it. You will need it. You cannot pass this class without the book. The book is expensive. I'm sorry. Um, you know, we're looking for ways to cut down costs on books, but this is the book that's been approved by the Com faculty. It is expensive. It's a new book. I'm sorry. But it's a very valuable book, and this is one you may want to keep because it's got really good, it's got really good content in it, and it's got really good examples. And so, you know, this is a book you may want to keep. Um, the Associated Press Style Guide is not required. I recommend it. Uh, I don't require it because you can find AP Style information online. Um, but if you don't have an AP Style Guide, I think it'd be a good idea to get one. Uh, you can get an older one for a couple of bucks on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. Um, so then after you've reviewed the syllabus and the calendar and you've scrolled through Titanium and looked at everything there, go back to the second topic area, which is Google Drive, Teams, and Portfolio and read that section carefully. That It comes before the week one topic area. So Google Drive, Teams, and Portfolio, because this is some stuff you need to know right now as we get started. Um, you will need to join a team right away because we will be working in teams in this class and you need to get on a team right away. When is the first team assignment due? This week. So <laughs> you'll need to get on a team and communicating with that team right away. Don't be shy. Uh, once you have joined a team, and there's a form to do that in there, um, once you have joined a team, click on the, the Google Drive link and go in there and post a little message. Say, hi, I'm new on the team. Here's my name. Here's my contact information. Let's talk. Let's get a dialogue going. Um, you guys can communicate in the teams in whatever way works best for you, but I strongly, strongly recommend that you don't try to communicate by text. Because in the past, when teams have communicated by text about assignments and the work that they're doing, well, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work well. Text is not detailed enough to truly have a discussion of the work that needs to be done. So I strongly recommend you use the Google Drive folders. Because Google Drive allows all of you to write in a document and edit a document at the same time. You could even decide to do your assignments at a particular time every week, and you could all be in there writing at the same time. So, you know, Google Drive just works really, really well. And it's available through your portal, so it's not going to cost you anything. So I strongly recommend that. So join the team. Go to the team link, join the team. And then post something to say hello to the team. Um, make sure that Google Drive is working for you, that you can access that link if you have any problems with that. Um, let me know right away because I want to make sure it gets fixed. Then look at the information about Portfolio. Portfolio is an electronic portfolio platform. It is free for you to use as a CSU System student. The CSU System has bought Portfolio and you can use it for free and you can keep it for life. Um, portfolio is not the prettiest platform available but it's a really good one and it's easy to use and I've used this in previous classes and students have no complaints about it because it works really easy. What is Portfolium here for? It is for you to create an electronic portfolio of your work to show to a potential future employer. You should post your resume, you should post work samples. What kinds of work samples? All kinds of work samples. Show employers what you can do. That's what they, that's what they want to know. They, 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 don't, they don't really care so much about your degree. They want to know what you can do. And so that's why we have Portfolium. Now, Portfolium is going to become mandatory for all COM majors beginning with the fall 2018 catalog. So students who enroll in the fall catalog and forward will have to use Portfolio. It's a graduation requirement. It's not for you guys. So you know, breathe easy. It's not a requirement for you, but I strongly recommend you use it anyway 
because it's really good. And when you go to an interview for an internship or a job and the employer says, I'd like to see what you can do. And you say, well, I'll send you a link to my portfolio folder and you can look at stuff. So that's a really good thing to do. So um, in this class, we will have four assignments that will automatically populate in your portfolio folder. And we'll talk more about those later. One of them is a resume. Down in week five, you're going to do a resume. And that's going to automatically populate your portfolio. Because I, I want to get you started on this. I want you to walk away from this class with a tool, something you can really use to land an internship or a job. So portfolio will do that. Um, anyway, we'll talk more about that as we go along. I also want you to know this course has been rebooted for summer 2018. What does that mean? I last taught this course summer 17. Well, since then, we've had a new, we've had a new book, we've had some new materials. So uh, I've gone through and rebooted the entire course, completely rebuilt it. And so as a consequence, we may, uh, we may have a few unintended consequences. Every one of those entries in Titanium takes lots of places where I have to click, click and settings that have to be structured in there. And it could be that I've made a mistake or two. Um, imagine that. Because there are literally hundreds of settings that have to be right for this all to work. So if going through Titanium, anything doesn't work, don't worry about it. Send me an email. Let me know, and I'll fix it right away. If going through one of the online quizzes, something doesn't work, don't freak out about it. Just let me know, and I'll get it fixed right away. Um, and, you know, we're probably going to have to get some of the bugs out in this, in this uh, section, and that's, that's okay. We'll do that. So if you have any problems with that, um, let me know. And if anything just doesn't seem right, um, let me know, and I'll, I'll, I'll investigate that for you. If at any time you don't understand any of the content on, in Titanium or anything having to do with this course or the way it runs or, or something out of the book or anything, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help you, and um, that's, that's, that's my job. And so I want to know if you're having a problem. So is the class challenging? Yeah. Am I here to help you? Yeah, I am. So, you know, if there's an issue, let me know. Um, at the top of the Titanium page, you'll find instructor announcements. When there's something I need to let you know about, I'll put an announcement in there, and it should send out an email to you to notify you that I've posted an announcement. So, like, if somebody finds a bug in Titanium and I fix it, I'll, I'll send an announcement. I'll go, hey, you know, this wasn't working right, but now it is, just so you know. And then below the announcements link, there's a question and answer form. So if there's any questions you have as we're going along, don't hesitate to post something there. I will get an email, uh, an email from the system, and then I'll answer your question. Don't post anything there if it's um, like confidential information. You know, if you got a question about a grade or something like that, that's don't put that there. Send an email to me with that. But if it's a general question about the class, um, put it in there, and I'm, I'm happy to answer it for you. A um, couple of important notes. If you have any kind of sensory impairment that causes a problem for you with audio or video materials uh, or text or the function of the web page, please um, do two things. If you have a sensory issue that might cause you problems in this class, do two things. Number one, contact Disability Support Services. Let them know. Register with DSS if, if it's necessary and if you haven't done so. Number two, let me know. Because I want to make sure that all the materials in the page here are accessible by everybody in the class. So if you've got something going on that makes it difficult for you to do that, please let me know. I want to make sure that you get all the help that you need. So, bottom line, will you enjoy this class? Yes, you will. Will this class be immensely challenging? Yes, it will. Will you learn more than you have in any public relations class thus far? Yes, you will. Am I here to help you succeed? Yes, I am. This is my one and only job. Uh, is there extra credit in my class? No, there is no extra credit in this class. Everything is the points you earn. Can you submit a quiz late? No, but you would know that if you've gone through Titanium. Um, the quizzes are online. There's five of them. Quiz number five counts as your final exam. You may not submit the quizzes late. So that's another reason to have stuff in your calendar. Don't miss a quiz. I don't care if grandma died. I don't care if a meteor landed on your house. Uh, I don't care. Don't miss a quiz. Because and, and in the past, people have asked me, are the quizzes open notes? <laughs> They're online. And I'm not peeking in your window. 
So yes, the quizzes are open book, open notes. And that's why I don't accept them late because they're out there. And so at the time it says the quiz is gonna close, the quiz is gonna close. So make sure you don't miss that. Um, and again, that's contained in the syllabus. So make sure you read the syllabus very carefully. The next five weeks will be immensely challenging, but they will be seriously beneficial. And I don't say this just to prop myself up because you know, I'm an old guy. I don't need to be, I don't need to have my ego fluffed up, you know. Um, this course will kick your ass, but this course will also be very, very valuable because this will show you what public relations people do when they write and develop strategy and they use social media. And um, I mean, it's, it's going to be immensely valuable. And you're going to end up finishing this course with a portfolio of materials that you can show to an employer. And I also, one more note on that. Anything else that you've done in any other course that you want to show to an employer, you should put in your portfolio. Absolutely. Um, do you like photography? You like to take photos? Employers are interested in that. Put them in there. Do you do social media? Shoot videos? Put them in there. You know, use that portfolio to create the story of who you are professionally. Use it to brand yourself. That's what it's all about. You know, um, we graduate from this department every year about 800 communications majors. That's like 799 other people and you. What makes you different from the 799? I don't know, but you better figure it out. You better figure it out because you want to stand out. You want to be unique. You want to have an employer go, I want to hire that one. So find out what that is and brand yourself and become that valuable potential employee that nobody wants to turn down. And this class will help you do that. So um, anyway, next five weeks, immensely challenging, but seriously beneficial. I enjoy teaching. I've been doing this a long time, since well before you were born. And um, I hope you enjoy learning. We're gonna learn a lot together here. I learn every semester too. I learn new stuff all the time. So um, I'm looking forward to this class. And in the immortal words of Betty Davis, buckle your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy night. So let's go.